Howdy folks, uh, welcome back to another episode. It's a Friday, I'm on my own. Uh, work commitments and all that with Holly. One of us has to have a real job, you know, not just tour the country, drinking. <laughs> Bad job, I know. Uh, right, today, uh, I've made it to, as you'll see in the title of the video, uh, Burnt Wood, which is uh, another one of the outskirts areas of Birmingham. It's kind of in between Litchfield uh, and Brown Hills, uh, Walsall sort of area, where I've, I've sort of done everything around that area, and this is a big sort of gap in the map that needs filling. So I'm not really sure what to expect today because it looks a bit spread out. Um, there's a lot of country pubs around the outskirts, a little tiny towny bit um, and some villages. I think something called Chase Town or something is pretty close. Uh, all counts as burnt wood. So we're gonna try and do as much of it as we can. Uh, and I'm gonna kick off with a beautiful looking at Country Inn, country pub and called The Nelson. Looks a nice place. Looks like it's got a massive great beer garden. As you can see, there is some blue sky for once, but there are some black clouds following me around like they always do. So let's get uh, let's get started. Let's kick off with the Nelson. This is a great place to start. So a massive dining room, huge garden, great looking menu and stuff. Loads and loads and loads of choices on the tap, so you can see. Four real ales. It's just a, it's a really beautifully well presented uh, pub. This. I'll, uh, I'll take you aside in a second as well before we go and show the beer garden. It's absolutely huge, but yeah, big dining room down the other end as well. Great little place to start. Really friendly staff. Really, really nice. It's great in there, isn't it? Garden space and stuff as well out here. I just I think this is a, a really great place to start. There's a big field and stuff behind me that all the, all the kids and stuff are playing on as well. Really great, really great little place. Country, really, really out in the country. Great start. That was a super place to start. I've got a feeling it's going to be quite well to do around here. Um, all nice country pubs, village pubs, things like that I'm going to find uh, around the area, judging by what I can sort of see with the, the, I mean the houses and stuff are all lovely and things as well, but it's definitely a uh, village vibes. Um, there is a town part to it, so we'll see where, when we get to that, what that was like, but stop two, uh, three, it was a three minute at uh, the country roads, and it's this beauty called the Nags Head, uh, Chef and Brewer. Uh, obviously I know all about Chef and Brewer, done quite a few of them on the call so far, they're always lovely, uh, the food's always good, reasonably priced and stuff as well. Let's go and see what they've got on the bar. I suspect it is beautiful inside, really rust. Old place. Three, uh, three ales on. Drinking and the wolf pack. I've tried this, never tried that before. Uh, beautiful looking pub though, isn't it? All the old beams, low ceilings, things like that, that make up these, uh, these sort of old rustic, charming places. Got some more beers on down at this end, but the uneven floors, great beams. They're just lovely. Very sort of vintage in style feel, Chef and Brewer to, to most of them. But this wolf pack's nice. 2 dollars for a half, so not cheap, but not terrible. Um, but yeah, gorgeous looking place. Two very, very nice pubs so far. Uh, continuing the theme as we go around. Uh, I'm, it feels like I'm well in the sticks. Uh, finding some beautiful looking country pubs and stop through the drill in. Now let's uh, let's go and see what this one's got to offer. Looks nice again though. Loads of loads of people at the front. Why wouldn't there be? Summer's here, nearly. Do uh, a couple of handfuls of July. Uh, great looking little tapas menu on here. Any always tell me. Good bits on that. Hello. It's uh, again, it's a very well presented, very uh, very nice looking little pub, massive great dining space as you would expect. And a, a nice little establishment. It's gonna uh, hurt myself. So it's very modern. Uh, obviously been decked out recently uh, and stuff in here. The dining room looks lovely. So yeah, these uh, these little country village pubs out here, very very nice. Uh, three minutes round uh, the houses. They're more country lines. Beautiful country lines. Number four for the Fozzers. Uh, this one looks more like a sort of a family community type pub. Uh, than it does one of the food pubs like the others. Uh, looks a bit quiet as well, doesn't it? Very open. I did just ask the two lads to say it's open. So it's open, we're going in. You know I love a community pub. So apparently this one closed down, opened up, closed down, opened up, closed down, opened up. But well and truly got someone in there now who cares about it and it's moving in the right direction. But since December, the landlady, she's loved. Putting some hand pulls in, they're to come very soon. But it is, it's a lovely, look. so they've built, uh, built their own DJ booth and stuff up here. It's a nice looking little community. It's a community, and I always harp on about it on this channel. And this is a proper community pub run by an absolutely lovely lady. And honestly, the view from out here, if you come, come and stand over and just have a look, that'd be a, that'd be a view to look at. I'm drinking on the drinking on that terrace out there with the sun, looking across. I wish them well with this. I hope it does really well. 
lovely lady, lovely place, lovely people to drink in here. Come and see for yourself. Right, down into the Burntwood Green uh, area of the, the little town now, and another classic example of them being a little bit spoiled in the area with the good chain pubs that they've got that do good food at affordable prices, because this one, the Star, is a beautiful old hotel building, and it's run by Ember Inns. So before we go in, we know exactly what is gonna be on the table, we know ex the kind of pub that it's gonna be, it's gonna have good real ales, good food at affordable prices, and a, a real mix of age ranges and customers using it. I like Ember Inns a lot. Let's go and see what this one's like. Exactly what I was expecting. I've gone for that wingman. Never tried that wingman before. It's quite nice. Five ales on. And a very Ember Inns feeling, looking establishment. Nice place. Play with Zada. And there's even more ales on. As you would expect to find. But yeah, nice, uh, nice laid back in. You can't go wrong with Ember Inns, I don't think, whether it's food or drink. They always seem to get it, they get the balance about right. Good place. Just a two, two and a half minute walk down from there then into the center of the Burntwood Green area. And to this, the white swan on the roundabout. Looks nice from the outside. Busy old junction this. Uh, coming up for about quarter past six time. So yeah, busy junction, but the white swan is gonna be stop number six of the day so far. I've got to say, they are spread out. Um, and it is a unique sort of layout for a, a town. But I'm enjoying it. Every pub I've been in so far is pretty good. And that's what I like. Finding a lot of variety, different stuff. It's all good. Thanks, Bob. Cheers. Oh. One, two, three. Five real hours on. Um, on for Mad Goose, I've never heard of before. Massively uh, set my rooms in the back with a dartboard. I know uh, how to find a space to go and sit in. There ain't no room in here. About. 15 minutes uh, to walk, slight incline, wasn't too bad. Uh, 15 minutes to walk up to, I mean, the Witch Elm, because I have no idea how else you would say that. Wyke Elm, Witch Elm, it's gonna be the Witch Elm, isn't it? Uh, it certainly looks like a mast and something, it's got a decent garden on the side. But yeah, it's uh, on this main road that I've just walked up from. Uh, and then the next one is called the Vintage Tap House, which looks on the internet like a craft beer bar. Yes, Witch Elm stop seven. This is the right strange one. So it is a Marston's, uh, they do food, stuff like that. Got um, all the Marston stuff that you would expect. So I've got Wayne Rice is the only uh, handful that's on, uh, but there's something else turned around, so I'm sure it'll be one of Marston's other uh, usuals. Decent stuff enough, but it's a big old pub. Um, the garden out there is absolutely packed. The, uh, the poor girl working on the bar, there's Paul table down there as well. The, the girl working on the bar, bless her, is working on her own completely. So it's a, a big pub, garden's near enough full. Loads of people wanting to order food. She's running the food out as well. They keep dinging the bell for it. It's like, why haven't they got more staff on? It's a Friday night, the sun's shining, one member of staff. Bizarre. Um, but sometimes that's Marston's so why they don't want to uh, stump up and give you more of a staff wage bill. But it's the customers who suffer. Uh, a few grumbles at the bar of people wanting service and not getting it. But here's what it is. Um, it's, it's nothing memorable, nothing to write about. It's just the Marston's. Five minute walk. It's a shame about that Marston's. They, they definitely need more staff on. Weird mix of people in there, but it's all right. It's just the Marston's. Five minute walk brings us to the one I'm very, very excited for. This. Turned you around. Vintage Liquid Tap House. So it's up in a little parade of shops. Uh, I'm assuming that used to be a pub called The Beacon years ago. God knows what it actually is now. But this is what I suppose you would call the town centre bit of Burntwood by the looks of things. Um, not an awful lot here. An Audi and stuff behind. But yeah, this vintage liquid tap house is stock number eight of the day, and it's the craft beer house. Get me inside. Not necessarily quite as much craft as I was expecting. Decent cider choices. And, uh, four handfuls. There's some, but forged. I don't get it. It's a nice little place though. Dog friendly. Lovely little micro bar. Friendly service, friendly staff. Uh, and I've gone for a tooty fruity cider. It's very nice. Yeah, not quite as much craft as I was expecting. There are some uh, Neon Raptor ca craft cans down in there, which is nice to see. Neon everywhere I go, right down the road from where I live. 15 minutes I've walked for, basically, down into, I think it's a village, Chase Town. Um, still part of Burntwood, but it's called Chase Town. Five pubs here, all within quite close proximity, looking at the map. 
So we'll motor through them and that'll do me for the night, which will what, take me to 13. 13 for the night for Burntwood. It's not bad, is it? My, uh, my first one in Chase Town then is the Cottage of Content. That's a unique name. Certainly not uh, ever heard of one of those before. So that is going to be uh, number nine. Cottage of Content. I wonder how content I'll be when I come out. Only time will tell. It must have a separate side to it or whatever. This is a, it's a very small bar area. It's pretty unique. Like, it's something completely different. A little bit a little bit like I've never seen before. Um, there's no actual pampers and there's Doom Bar on a... Um, <coughs> Then we're on a, ke uh, a keg. Um, ciders, lagers, you'd expect. It's definitely a locals pub, it's up amongst the houses, but friendly enough. Um, that's the place, dog friendly. And just, yeah, just a. What is, what is that inside? Like, it's unique decor, isn't it? I'm quite content though. I quite like it. See the pub dog in there? Beautiful little dog. The landlord, eccentric, fun, different. But a great guy, and that is a proper pub. That is a proper pub. So, I actually really liked it. It took me eight minutes to bring me to the Jules pub of Chase Town, which is called Miner's Rest. That's so up number nine on my day, and I'm going back up that way, I believe, to complete the rest. Everything's easily walkable around here. I love a Jowls pub, you know that. Let's get in. I stand by what I say about Jules, Jowls, whatever you want to say it, every single time. They don't have a bad pub. And again, this is beautiful. Classic ales from Jowls on, you would expect. I mean, ignore the carling and pretend it doesn't exist for the rest of it, but exactly what you expect it to look like. A rustic vibe, old, beautiful pub. Look, some of the stained glass and stuff in here is wonderful. Little backyard. Like, these guys do not run bad pubs. They've not got a bad one in the, in the brand. That was an easy little walk, two minutes. All right, it is a slight incline, but it wasn't too bad. Two minutes to the Uxbridge Arms, specialist real ale pub. This, from the branding, looks to me like a Black Country Ales pub. Love Black Country Ales, but it is, looks on here. Look at me, I know my branding. Everywhere I go now, I can spot them. Walk up in a craft union, I can tell you it's a craft union. What sort of Marston's? I can tell you it's a Marston's. Black Country Ales, I can tell you it's a Black Country Ales. And they are always good pubs. So stop 11, the Uxbridge Arms. Two minutes from the Jules pub. Chase Town's great. But honestly, there's a lot of walking that I've done today, but the whole of this little run has been really good. It's a really nice little place. Black Country Owls pubs, again, they're banging. Uh, some of the beers you've got on here, obviously, we'll, we'll, go, we'll, we'll skip Carling, pretend it's not there, but look at some of the other ones. This is what I'll say about Black Country Owls, is they have one of the best beer selections going of any of the places I go. I'm always dead impressed by the stuff that they've got on their own beers and things like that as well. But I'm always dead impressed by Black Country Owls and stuff. I went for this from Beowulf Brewing, a porter. It was very, very nice. Looks like a Black Country Owls pub, doesn't it? These guys are here at Legends. They're legends. They're, they're, they're proper legends. They're in the call of fame tomorrow. Great little pub. Lovely vibe. Two left to do. I've honestly had a great, a great day, a great evening, afternoon and stuff like that. I think it's a, it's a great little place, this. Two to do. I'll be on my next one. Uh, apparently, a bit of a local's pub. So we'll see how they feel when I wander in. Because <laughs> I'm great at wandering in, filming, and everyone's like, what's he doing? So yeah, Junction is up next. And I've got the crown. That'll be a clean sweep, pretty much. Junction next. Quite a little pub. Um, the beers aren't anything to write about. I've got a couple of handfuls on, but they're nothing to, they're nothing to sort of get excited about. Start for friends. Quite a little decor. Look, it's a bit like yeah, being, in a, being in your nan's living room uh, in some. But you know what, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Every every pub needs a little bit of character and it's definitely got a bit of character to it. So yeah, the beers aren't, the beers aren't great. You've got a disco, maybe a karaoke thing up the up the, up the, the end. It's dog friendly. Look at that. Beautiful doggy, chilling. Uh, and actually saw on the way in, little, little bench and stuff outside for people to sit on. But yeah, it's, yeah I, I get the feeling it's probably one of the late night pubs from down its end. There's nothing wrong with it. Here's what it is. Right then, tonight's final stop. Uh, it's 100 yards up the road, if that. Uh, that's probably my final stop. But my final pub stop of the night is the Crown Inn. Looks a, looks a nice little boozer from the outside. Uh, and yeah, right next to a, a pizza slash kebab shop. Sometimes life just goes right for me. And I think tonight might be one of those nights. I've had a good day. Let's go and, let's go and finish it off. Let's go to the Crown, see what that's got on offer. And we'll take it from there. 
But I was right. It is. It is. It is a beautiful look. Got some ales on. Banks mild. I know a lot of you. Like you're on it. It's mild, aren't you? They've got it on in here, and it is Pedigree Direct. It's a Marston's pub, uh, but it's a Marston's pub with a bit of character and a bit of personality about it, which is what I like. Not the biggest in the world. Gives a wave. Yeah, so he gives a wave. You see, you see yourselves on YouTube tomorrow, don't you? It's a lovely little pub. It's a great little place to mix with finished, barring the pizza shop. I am going to that pizza shop because it's good. So it's a lovely little place to finish. Honestly, I really like Burntwood and Chase Town. It's a great little place to come. There's a lot of walk. If you want to do all of them like I've done, there's a lot of walking involved. But honestly, it's worth it. It's worth doing. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you guys. Do hit subscribe if you don't subscribe already. It really means the world to us. See you tomorrow in Coventry. Another day out.